you know, going to Japan this year really reset me. It helped me with my mental health, helped me as a content creator. It did so much for me. And I'm so happy to bring you this final video from this year of Japan. I'm so happy to bring you on my last videos I shot in Japan and also the pickups at the end. Just going back and thinking about Japan, mind boggling. I went, stayed two weeks. I got to reconnect with my old ship. I got to do a lot of video game hunting, a lot of great food. It was just such, such a great time. Got to see my best friend on the last video, which this video connects to that. So if you missed it, make sure you go back and watch it or make sure you watch the whole Japanese playlist, guys. I got, I went so many places, did so many things. If you have missed it, this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go back and check it out. Now, today we're going to Nano Broadway. This place is like a indoor mall, has so many different places to shop and buy things. We're gonna visit some video game stores, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you what I picked up. So let's get to my last Japanese video for this year at Nano Broadway. Take a look. My homeboy Mario had to get on the train to get all the way back. It's about three hours away, but we are here in a different part of Tokyo looking for games. This is Nano Broadway. I was suggested to come here so let's see if I can find something. So I didn't know what to expect when I went to Nano Broadway. The place is amazing. Like they had like food places, places where you can buy a lot of video games, shirts, clothes, anime figures. And I first thing I asked, I said, where are the video games? And they pointed me to here and I was like, all right, this is right here. It's not video games. These are video game machines. You can win prizes and stuff. Well, I said, you know what? Let me just see here what I can find. I didn't play anything, but it just amazes me when I see these people in Japan love this. But I had to find video games. And guess what? I found a place. This is Galaxy in Nano Broadway. But the video games here, guys. <laughs> is look at these prices they want top dollar for some of these games and i just went inside to say okay let me see can i find any kind of deals a lot of things here are super expensive almost like super potato expensive but i digress it was cool to see a lot of great playstation 2 games i was shocked to see a lot of the nes games here I like how the NES games here, the Famicom games, are just really nice in packaging. On the other side, you had Game Boy Advance, you know, see the Rockman game. I really, that game is awesome. I have a bootleg, but I don't need it. <laughs> this is the bargain wall here in the back. I looked through it. I didn't find what I wanted. There were some cool games, like, you know, some Game Gear games back here, but they were super cheap. Some Game Boy Advance games. You know, you got some Nintendo DS games, some PS3 games like Baseball, Train Simulator, some PS2, the best games, the PSP stuff. You know, you can find something, but I really didn't want anything. You know, 3DS games back here, which Nintendo 3DS games in Japan are not region free. So you need a Japanese Nintendo 3DS. All the good ps3 games were here also i didn't buy anything but it's really interesting to see what they had just down here like uh this jojo's all-star battle which now a remake is out so you don't really need it on ps3 or this jojo's adventure which let me show you something about that so that last jojo's bizarre adventure game i actually have it on the ps4 so if you missed it check this game out on the ps4 you can get it it's region free it plays and this one is in english a lot of Sega Saturn, a lot of Super CD games. <laughs> Guys, they're still expensive. I don't need these. A lot of Dreamcast games also. So when you, if you go to Nano Broadway, speaking of expensive, the Neo Geo games right here. You might want to buy some, you might not, but it's just cool to see that they have this still here. Retro gaming in Japan is alive and well, and some places, guys, it's super expensive. Like, wow, even it's tax-free. Okay, that store was a little expensive, but there are other stores here.
All right, so this store it has sale on it. They did have a lot of good prices. They had a lot of great Nintendo like exclusive stuff. Like you see that Mario Award from Club Nintendo, amazing. Uh, this Mario statue. They had a lot of different just Nintendo related and a lot of anime stuff. I mean, seeing all these figures, guys. <laughs> Look, they even get hip hop. Oh my goodness, it made me feel right at home. Yeah, they WWE toys there also. I know going through here pretty quick, so if you need to stop at any time, just stop and look around. You know, these t-shirts, even in Japan, they love them some anime t-shirts, some video game t-shirts. Yeah, look, Club Nintendo, the Mario family. This place was great. You see, look, look at that Mario, Super Mario Maker. Man, I wish I took that home with me. That's a cool machine. Then I found other stuff like this Sega SG-1002. I should have got that. It was a reasonably price, but you can only take so much back home to America. And I didn't want to get another suitcase. But look at all these great consoles, guys. All of these great games. Super Famicom, if you like that, this place has a lot of great secondhand and hidden gem Famicom games like this, Tiny Toon Adventures. Oh, so good game, guys. Over here, they had a lot of 3DS, Nintendo DS games that were pretty cheap. A lot of uh, Nintendo 64, a lot of PS Vita, PSP. Down here at the bottom, I like, maybe I might get some of this stuff. I might, I don't know. You'll see at the end of the video, did I get this or not, but it's, it's a lot of good stuff in here. Grady's Deluxe Pack. All right, we got some choice select games in here. Tenchu. Nothing that. Black Matrix. This is. Puyo Puyo. Power Rangers, y'all. Anywhere I can find good PlayStation games, guys, I'm definitely going to take a look. I might even bring some of that stuff home. From the Wii U, from the Wii. This place had everything. This is actually a pretty decent place. Okay, Street Fighter Zero Collection. Guys, I should have took that home. It was a great price. A pack of, I don't know what a pack of PS3 games that was. I don't know. I just saw a lot of stuff. This Nemco joystick, one of the great PlayStation 1 fighting sticks. So I have Rumble Roses, but this cover. <laughs> Same game. So this little ball has a lot of little great game shops. Let's see what here is. Let's see what's in here. Stuff like about video games. But this clothes ain't gonna fit me. Got nice hats. Resident Evil 25th anniversary. How much is that hat? Okay. I got a lot of video game hats. I think it's Xbox. Jacket. Okay. And from pens, I'm starting to love pens, guys. But that was a little too expensive on some of these pens. But this next place right here, oh y'all, look at this, the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship belt. They had two, three versions, a WWE Junior Heavyweight Champion. I don't even know. I never seen that belt before. They had wrestling stuff everywhere in this store. I was like, I love this store. Just enjoy all this wrestling stuff, guys, because it is so amazing. And then we're going to get to the pickups.
So here are my Nano Broadway pickups. We got Unjammer Lammy on the PlayStation 1. Love this game. You know what? This Japanese game is much cheaper and it still plays in English. Ooh, y'all, this is so good. Rockman 3. Rockman 3 is an expensive Super Nintendo game. It did release on the PlayStation in Japan. So if, if you found a way to like mod your PlayStation, which is really easy these days, pick this copy for less than like 10 bucks. It's such a great game. You know, I'm a big wrestling fan and I had to pick up some more wrestling games. We got New Japan Pro Wrestling 3. Then I got two Kamen Rider games. Haven't played it, I think these might be fighting games. Fist of the North Star is a great game on the PlayStation 3. It's expensive, but you know, the Japanese copy is much cheaper and it still plays. So I'm, I'm glad I have this. Soul Calibur 4, look at that cover. That cover is just so badass. I absolutely love it. Such a cool cover. And then we got Super Street Fighter 4. This cover, look at it y'all. Bask in this cover's glory. It is so amazing. So here are all my pickups from Japan guys. It's been such an amazing time. I can't wait to go back 